Welcome everyone, this is the RI-1000X printer. Today we're going to do a step-by-step -step video walking you through the direct-to-film process. Uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and look over the materials. So today we're going to be using these materials. This is going to be the craft paper that we use whenever we're going to be transferring the film to the t-shirt. We're going to use this container here. You can use any type of container you have to hold the powder. Uh, this will be used to kind of collect the excess powder. We have the powder shaker, which we'll be using to apply the powder to the film. This is the powder. The tape we'll be using to tape the, the film down. Uh, whenever handling the powder, we recommend to use gloves. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and take a piece of film out here. When we're printing on the film, there's two sides. One's glossy, one's matte. Uh, when we're printing on this, it's gonna be matte side up. Okay, now that we're ready to get started, we're gonna go ahead and take the direct film and put it onto your platen here. You'll see that there's a clouded side or a matte side and a glossy side. The glossy side should always face down. And then we'll use some small pieces of tape to go ahead and hold that in place. And then the next step, we'll go ahead and check the platen height and uh, make sure that it's set as high as possible. The next step is we're going to go ahead and uh, adjust the table height. Uh, you can crank this lever here to adjust it to the zero position or the highest point. All right, so the next step is we're going to go ahead and uh, go over to the ColorGate software. This is what we're going to use today for the direct-to-film printing. Uh, if you're not sure, we recommend to contact technical support to make sure that your direct-to-film settings are up to date. Um, let's go ahead and walk over and check that out. Okay, so let's do some direct-to-film printing with your Rico printer. First thing we'll do is we can go ahead and uh, select a print file. Go ahead and load it in the RIP software. You can do it from the file folder here. Or if you want to drag and drop it, you can also do that as well. and then select your hot folder to apply the settings. If you choose to pull it in with the file folder here, you would select the file and then just double click it here and you can apply the hot folder from here. Select yes, click OK. And now that we have the file loaded here, you have options to change the size, the position um, from the side here. Uh, if you don't have those options, you can also access it from the settings here and go to the job tab. And then you can also adjust your size uh, as well from You can adjust your size here if you want. I like to use the job tab, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust my size and position here. I'm going to do a standard size piece of paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and lower it about one inch. And then I want to center it. Once I have everything set up and ready to print, you can see that my direct uh, to film hot folder has already reversed and mirrored my graphic here. So now I just want to go ahead and uh, send it over to the printer go ahead and drag it over here and that will automatically rip the file and then whether you have it set to send direct to the printer or a USB, it'll go ahead and rip that file and have it ready to print. Don't forget before ripping the file to the printer, make sure the graphic is mirrored, the layers are reversed, color then white. When printing solid colors, change the print mode to superfine unidirectional. Adjust the white ink output based off your current environment. Okay, now that we have our direct-to-film printed, we're gonna go ahead and apply the powder. We recommend to use protective gloves whenever working with the powder. Go ahead and apply the powder. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lightly shake the powder and try to cover the ink doesn't have to be perfect. Once we've applied some of the powder, we're gonna go ahead and move it around to make sure that we're getting the full coverage. Just sift it kind of back and forth. And then once we've applied powder, we're gonna go ahead and shake it to 
remove any excess powder. It's important to do this in a dry environment. We don't recommend to do it near where you pre-treat. Okay, so before we cure the film, you want to adjust your temperature to 260 and set it for 120 seconds. Uh, depending on the materials that you're using, that might vary a little bit, but just look at the instructions provided and it should give you guidance on what to set for the temperature and time. Uh, the next step is you want to adjust your press to where it will hover. We don't want it to touch the film. So this dial here, you can actually adjust this and it will allow you to, if you don't have this ability, then you'll have to hold this for the duration that it's carrying. So go ahead and take our film, we'll put it onto the platen here. And like I said, hover it, do not do not press it completely down. Okay, so now that we've melted the powder, we're gonna go ahead and grab a t-shirt. And then we'll position our film where we're gonna transfer it onto the t-shirt. And we'll adjust the temp or the pressure here to medium pressure. And we're gonna press it for a duration of 20 seconds. Depending on if you're using hot or cold peel, uh, if it's a hot peel, you can peel it off directly. Uh, if you're using a cold peel, you're gonna go ahead and let this uh, cool to about room temperature before we remove it. And we recommend if you want a softer feel, you can go ahead and put it back on the press and use a piece of parchment paper or craft paper and press it for an additional five seconds. So this concludes our video for printing on the Ricoh RI-1000X. Uh, if you plan to use the direct -to film there's a lot of different versatility with different fabrics. Um, you can also print in advance and store those films so that way they're ready to transfer. Uh, when you're done with your direct -to film materials, we recommend to store those in a dry place away from any moisture. Thank you again. Welcome to the Ricoh family.